draw Lewis structure. So you go valence, electrons, equals phosphorus is 5, 4 oxygens at uh, 6, plus 3, because there's minus 3 charge. So that's 24 plus another 8, 32. Oh, we're going to do a lot of work on this one. Which ones do you think is in the middle? P. Yeah, it has to be P, because um, P doesn't really always work well on that side. And it's like the one and the list of others. So whenever you see the list, they're on that side. There's that part. Now let's start filling it in. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> eight of 32. Now a lot of dots, ready? Uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, uh, 20, 22, 24, 26, uh, 28, 30, 32. I think I got 32 there. All right. Uh, so far, what do you think? Should there be a charge at the middle? Oh, the formal charges? Formal charges. Yeah. First, let's check the octet. Is octet okay? With the P, no? P, two, four, six, eight. There should oh, be a double right. bond somewhere with one of the oxygens because P requires um, another linkage. It's possible. That could work. Let's check the formal charges first. What's the formal charge on each oxygen? They're all equivalent. They're all octets. Formal charge. Plus one. Not plus no, one. one. Minus. Yeah, there's too many. Mm -hmm. So they're all minus oh. one. Okay, phosphorus. You see why it's plus one? It should be five. You count one, two, three, four. It's missing one. Okay. So, uh, okay. Okay, it's got a lot of charges there for us. Could be less. <laughs> Let's see if we can improve our charge situation to get more zeros. Okay. Well, let's redraw it. Should have, uh, it's up to five, so it at least it has to have one double bond. Yeah, it doesn't have to ha have to in that all phosphorus don't have to have a double bond, but uh, it can uh, think it can easily take one. You're and two. so, oh. okay, so I just redrew it. Let's erase a couple. Let's put in some double bonds. See what happens. There we go. If I do this, this oxygen does not have a formal charge. It's formal charge zero. And these three are minus one. And now the phosphorus is mm. neutral. Yeah. Pretty decent. That's a nice, what would we call this? These? Uh, resonance. Yeah, resonance structures. Yeah. Let's put the arrow here. It's pretty decent. Let's put our numbers minus, minus, minus. Good. Oh, uh, let's put in one more double bond for fun and see what happens. Okay, so I'll redraw it down here. I'm going to draw in the double bonds now of the two. And leave the other oxygens as is. Okay. Now those two leftover oxygens so have minus one. What about the phosphorus? What's its formal charge? Okay. Negative minus. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay. That's okay. Another resonance structure. Uh, which is fine. Uh, notice the phosphorus is breaking the octet. But it can. Anything above neon can break the octet. It's called the expanded valence shell. Yeah. Is there a simpler way to show it? 
because that's, I mean, it's... You mean to draw To these? draw, yeah, I mean to show them right now. Uh, it seems like you can derive like many resonance structures, like you could probably have a triple bond with one of the oxygens. Yeah, this yeah, this one would have a number of resonance structures. You could put the double bond here, yeah. or here, or here. And you could put them across, or adjacent to each other, or here, or here, or here. You yeah. have a bunch, a bunch of resonance structures to draw out. Uh, so yeah, you, you could consider a triple bond, I think. It would start... Uh, it might be a little overwhelming for the phosphorus <laughs> with all the bonds, but yeah, that's possible too. So this would have a lot.